This video, we're gonna go over Inksoft core orders. So right here, Inksoft core orders. So every order that's submitted on any store that's in your account will land here, as well as any proposal you've sent to a customer once they pay for it, that'll land here as well. So you've got some filters on this page. Uh, just view your open orders up here, completed, canceled, or all. Just hit this little down arrow. Uh, you've got another filter here in the top right. Uh, so you can view orders submitted from specific stores if you need to, just hit done and then apply. Or you can filter your proposals to see who brought in which sale. So your assignees, any admin account that you create for your Inksoft account is then listable as an assignee on a proposal. So this is just here so you can track who's bringing in which sale. And then apply that. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up this order here. So in the top right, you can print your packing slip. It's just a summary of the order. So just include that slip in the, in the package. Uh, print work order, we'll open this up here. So it breaks it down based on the garment color and then the quantity of each size for this color and lets you know it's gonna receive this piece of artwork. So in this case, here's our embroidery file and it tells you the thread color here. Same thing here, same thing here. And then we have our vector artwork here. So same thing, here's the color, here's the quantity of each size, here's the artwork, and then here's your color breakdown. You can also download the render package up here, which just gives you the art files that were used to decorate the garments. So in this case, if I download this render package, I'm gonna get the DST file here for this bone, as well as the Inksoft logo, which is vector. Quick note, if you use vector to decorate your items, you're gonna get uh, vector files and raster files in the render package. But if you use a raster file, you're only gonna get raster files here. So if you need vector pr to produce your items, you wanna decorate with vector. If I wanna make any changes to these items, I can do whatever I want here. So just hit the three dots here, edit product. I can adjust the sizes I'm offering, remove a size. I can adjust the uh, items cost here as well as quantity. Uh, I can add more colors of the product if I want to. The only thing I can't do is add more products to the order that aren't already on the order. So if the customer was like, hey, give me a Gildan 8,000, you wouldn't be able to add it to this order. So they'd have to either submit another order on the storefront or you could send them a, pr a proposal at that point. So um, your payment details here, request payment. Uh, this order hasn't been paid for, no big deal. You can just request payment here. Uh, this will just send an email to the customer saying, you know, here's the remaining balance and you can pay us through your payment processor. Add payment. Uh, this option is here if a customer walks in to pay you in cash or with, you know, in person with their credit card. Uh, just type in the amount that you're going to charge to their card or, you know, type in the amount of cash that they're paying you. And then this is my account, so I don't actually have payment processing set up, but I would choose debit or credit here, and then you could do a manual entry of their card and then record that payment. It'll charge their card automatically from there, or just do cash other customer paid with cash or you know pay with a check and leave the, the check info here. Pickup details, hit the pencil. I can change the pickup location or switch to shipping if I want to. I can do whatever I want here. And then add fee slash discount, pretty self-explanatory. Just choose a discount or a fee, and you can do it based on a percentage of the order total before tax was added, or you can do a flat dollar amount discount or fee. Got to give it a name and then apply that. So if the customer had already paid you in full and you add a discount, it'll then automatically refund that money back to their card. And then the timeline down here, this just records every action. Uh, so if you make a change to the order, it'll just tell you who did what on what day and what time down here. You can also leave comments and the customer won't be notified and won't see these comments. These are internal. So there's only two ways you can process an order through Inksoft, and that depends on if the order has shipping attached to it or pickup. So all you do, just select the orders here in bulk, and you're going to click ready to ship slash pickup right here, and that'll send each order to the correct tab automatically.